What's up YouTube? Being here again with Xandar. Hello. You demanded it in the comments, so I took the series back over. Just kidding. Because of Xandar's terrible luck last week, we're going to see if we can bring it back this week. But uh, you know what? He I think opened... it's the same week, isn't it? Well, that's isn't true. This, this you know what? Same. When you pull an Ugin and a, and a fetch land already, all the days just kind of mesh together. It has nothing to do with the actual timing of these videos. So, you did open those packs with style, so I will give you credit there. I know how to open some packs. That's right, he does. So let's go ahead, open this first one, see if we can turn our luck around. But I mean, it doesn't really matter how you open the packs when there's crap in them. That's true. Grim Contest, Pressure Point, Avon Skirmisher, Lotus Pathogene, Hooded Assassin. Didn't predict that one, did you, Xandar? Ethereal Ambush, <laughs> Alicia's Vanguard, Defiant Ogre. He's defying our packs, that's for sure. Whisper of the Wilds. And Dragon Rage, bringing us into our uncommons, a Ward Scale Dragon, and then a Goblin Boom Keg. Let's see what's hiding behind here. A Solomgar the Drifting Death. He is four uncolored with a blue or a black legendary creature, Dragon. He's flying, hexproof. Whenever a dragon you control attacks, creatures defending player controls get minus one, minus one until end of turn. And he's a 3-7. There's definitely a big butt on this dragon. Yeah, he is a C's playing Esper Dragons. Or at least he used to. I don't know if he still does. And there is a foil Bloodfire Enforcers. But he's not enforcing the greed that I have for this box. So we're going to move on to the next pack. Could have been a fetch land there. Could have been a fetch land there. I think he jinxed it by... You know what? What I said right there probably did impact the cards that were already in that pack. It probably did, yeah. That was a good point. It's crazy how that works. Yep. They call it magic for a reason. You know, if we would have really rebranded the series by now, we'd probably like fetching monastery mentor. Right. Well, let's see if there's one in here. So we have an Abzan Advantage, Avon Surveyor, Typhoid Rats, Ethereal Ambush, Dragon Bell Monk, Formless Nurturing, Sandstep Outcast, Timur Battle Rage, Hunt the Weak, and Fierce Invocation. Moving into our own commons, Mistfire Adept, Fruit of the First Tree, and a Valorous Stance. There's a Sandsleep Mastodon, five uncolored, two green, a uh, creature elephant. He has reach. When Sandsteep Mastodon enters the battlefield, bolster five. Uh, he's a five five. So, nice little beef. Not one of my favorites. Bloodfell Caves means we have one pack left to see what we can do here. What do you think, Xandar? I'm thinking... Uh, it's a siege. I can feel it. It feels like a siege to me. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll see. So, Sultai Runemark. Abzan Runemark. Avon Surveyor. Ancestral Vengeance. War Flare. Soul Summons. Collateral Damage. Timur Rune Mark, Right into Being, Bathe in Dragonfire, Fearsome Awakening, Noxious Dragon, and Honor's Reward. Let's see if we can get our Honor's Reward with a Wild Call. Two green and X. It's a Sorcery. Manifest the top card of your library, then put X plus one plus one counters on it. So, not what we we're looking for, but... Terrible card, too. And a rugged Highland. So, another bunk, bunk episode, but, again, hopefully there's one more in here, but if not, we've already done pretty well. Like, comment, subscribe.